Cuddle here for Spark Youth Radio, and today I'm here with Stuart McLean, Canada's best-known storyteller who is well known for his uh, CBC radio show, The Vinyl Cafe. Um, I'm here at the Fraser Auditorium, and we're here just before uh, Stuart's show. Welcome to the program, Stuart. Nice to be here. Yes. So, um, Stuart, how did you get your start in your um, storytelling and broadcasting career? Well, it was, um, I was working in school, actually, and I... Uh, I, I worked as after university, and I, I uh, worked at the school for about three years in student services. And I'd always wanted to be on the radio and be a writer on the radio. And I finally I quit, and I took a year off, hoping to end up on CBC. And I uh, met a few people and uh, got to know a few people, and I kind of started as a freelancer very slowly and worked my way into it. Yeah, it was something that you've always wanted to do. Yeah, I dreamed of it ever since I was a kid. I, uh, radio was always, uh, I wasn't a very successful kid. I was uh, shy and uh, not very good at school and not very good at sports, not very good at any of the things you're supposed to be good at when you're a boy. And I think I found uh, a sense of community or belonging listening to the radio. I felt like I connected to the world at large. So I think I developed a lot for it that way. Yeah, strangely enough, I have um, you know the same sort of personality. I wasn't very good at sports either as when I was a kid. You know, it took me a while to find out what I really love to do, and before what I'm doing at Spark Youth Radio, it's very similar to yeah to what you. Well, watched. then you understand the feeling. So, did you have any influences, or did anybody inspire you to? I think, I think there was a guy in, in Montreal called Dave Boxer who was a uh, uh, a DJ that uh, I used to listen to. He in those days they only played. Kids' music, pop music at nighttime. Uh, and he had about a two or three hour show every night, and uh, I'd listen to him and feel connected to the world. He was kind of a, um, a hero, I guess. There was uh, an American broadcaster by the name of Joey Reynolds out of Buffalo I listened to, and he, he, he was a kick. He used to, he used to run the, uh, the Royal Order of the Night People, who tell kids to melt a purple candle over the radio dial so their mother couldn't change the channels when they woke up. Uh, um, there were a few other radio people I listened to, and I, they all just sort of spoke to me in some way. Yeah, so when you started, you know, you are just on the radio, but now you travel across Canada and some of the United States. Um, you're with the Vinyl Cafe, so how has the show uh, evolved in the last few decades? Well, it started as just a studio show. It started just being a, a show that we recorded in a studio with records and uh, with very short stories, and uh, Dave and Morley. Morley didn't even exist at the beginning, it was Dave. And he, he was a minor character, he was just one character in a whole cast of characters. And, really? and then slowly uh, he, he acquired a family, and a wife and a couple of kids, and uh, they all elbowed their way to the front of the show. Um, and then after three years we started doing our concerts and theaters. Um, and now, uh, now the stories are quite long, and the concerts, as you say, are all over the country. So, so you know, we got live music. All these things are new from the beginning. Yes, yeah, so I heard you actually did a show on uh, on board the VRL train. Is that correct? Yeah, we we did a show. We recorded a show. We Jess Milton and I, uh, the producer of the show, took a um, week long trip across Canada on a train, and on the second to last night, we recorded the show on the train. Wow. Now they're obviously fictional, but who are Dave and Morley to you? They're, they are themselves. Um, they're, in many ways, they're, they you know, are the people I'd like to be. They're kind and gentle people. They move through the world with very gracefully and with a lot of good humor and with a lot of forgiveness. You know, they're, uh, um, they, they, they're, they're not ambitious for wealth as much as they are for their family. and. For, for forgiveness, I think, is what, and, and allowing space for others to, to, to make mistakes and be forgiven. Yeah. Now, like you, I've always wanted a career in uh, broadcasting. What advice would you give to someone like me who wants a career in broadcasting? Do what you're doing right now. You're uh, get involved. You know, get involved in a. Uh, um, it's the same advice I give to people who say they want to write. I say. Get yourself a deadline. And write for the student paper. Write for the community paper. Um, if, you're, if it's broadcast, you're interested in work for the, you know, the cable station. Work for the 
high school station, the college station, get yourself a deadline, an obligation where you've got to sit down and think about how you do stuff, prepare questions, set up cameras, all that stuff, and you learn. You learn, and that's how you do it. You learn by uh, by playing at it. And hopefully, if you're lucky, you'll get to play at it all your life. Yeah, I really love to do that. Well, that's all the time we have. You know, thank you so very much for your time, and I look forward to watching the show. Thank you very much. Glad to be here, and I hope you like the show. Oh, I know I will. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, if you'd like to learn more about Stuart McLean concerts, dates, purchase books, or CDs, you can follow the links at SpartanYouthRadio.com. This is Blake Prittle for Spartan Youth Radio. We're all kinds of different. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.